What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 5 as Mongolia. It's not a good time. I've noticed we are almost out of units. Um, we do have a ton of money, but you know what I'm like. I wouldn't spend that ever. But um, yeah, I'll probably have to next turn. But we'll see how this turn goes first. Siam is now approaching as well, which is terrifying because, you know, if dealing with Vietnam wasn't hard enough. I've got Songhai getting mad at me. For stealing their technologies, even though I failed to steal their technologies, they killed my spy. It's very tragic. At least everywhere's got plenty of food now. You know, I mean, there is that, even though nowhere's growing, because that was a dumb idea by me. Because happiness is so low that they're they're not they're not creating new people because they're all so sad and depressed. They just stay at home. They don't meet people. They don't have relationships. We don't get any Mongolian babies. It's a sad time and. All, all the while, I mean, there's actually reason to be sad now. Before, when they were sad before this started, it wasn't good. But now there's reason to be sad. You know, they should be enjoying what remains of their lives. The people of Feshbalik and Beijing in particular, because they're definitely on the hit list. Beijing doesn't even have, oh yeah, it does have a wall now. About time. But Nanjing up here doesn't have a wall. They're screwed. Although saying that, one turn away from getting a wall. That was really good time in George. And yep, another unit is dead. And Vietnam are creeping closer, and for the first time, this city that we've defended so well, our biggest city that we've defended so well for the whole game, could be screwed, and we could be about to lose it. This would be tragic. Okay, we killed the Mobile Sam, which is good. I think we have to rely on infantry to defend me. There we go, we finally did the job. Sometimes, I'm, I, I don't even know what to use to judge this, because sometimes... We get killed and sometimes it does fine I, I just don't really know how to interpret it all let's try and take out this mobile Sam or at least block it from getting back in oh we got a new general get down here get down here and defend and you infantry also get over here because why not but yeah we are basically out of units after this it's kind of a worrying time because once that's it they can just push in and start sieging out stuff which isn't good I'm kind of hoping, I th I feel like Ethiopia is doing a good job. I feel like they're distracting Siam nicely, which is keeping me alive. Do you have nuclear missiles? You have atomic bombs. don't think it's been a nuclear war just yet, but I'm sure it's close to one. So where are you? Oh, this is where El Paso is. It's in New Zealand. Argentina, New Zealand, Texas have a massive city out here too. I feel like my boat was here recently, to just because we just discovered the Great Barrier. Oh yeah, my caravel's here in Texas. Okay. I don't know where the other one is. Um, oh, it's off the coast of Argentina. 37 population. Wow, Buenos Aires. That is pretty huge. But I can't really say I'm impressed. Because obviously Samoa, in one of the recent AI games, got a 40. This island here, I think. Or one, yeah, I think it was this island here. Or maybe one in here. They got it to like 40 population, which was mad. So, you know, you're not quite on that tier. Even though 37 is huge. And yep, it seems the Songhai are destroying Morocco. Which means... They are going to be very, very strong in these last few turns that we take part in. And they're pushing in. They killed the machine gun. They're now pushing in from this side too because I retreated with their marines. They have been slowly grinding away at that machine gun for a long time. And yet Siam is arriving. But we did just complete the Manhattan Project. Problem is we're still 12 turns away from being able to build the atomic bomb. Who are we going to make world leader? I mean, we may as well vote for ourselves, right? There's no one else to vote for here. Six delegates. Yep, put them all on me. And they actually ran away, Vietnam. That's that's good news. Go block them off. Artillery, you can't actually hit anything except them, so you may as well attack them, even though you did little to no damage. You can heal, you can heal. Destroy, you can go, go probing again. Attack that. Oh, you did some good damage against that sub. Problem is, you are probably going to get destroyed now. My bad. Didn't mean for that to happen, but okay, artillery. We may as well go after it. We may as well go forward. Let's try and... Ooh. Okay, Vietnam's units are a bit older. Um, not as good technology, so we can actually use our units a bit more effectively here. And that was good. That was a good turn. We did some damage to Siam. I think I said Vietnam. I meant Siam. Because they're here too. We can start chipping away at both of their armies because we've already. I feel like we, you know, we've slowed Vietnam right down. Like we lost almost everything, but we have stopped them. 
but Siam I feel like could be a difference. I'm surprised they haven't used a nuclear missile yet. Like if they'd have used one on this city here, they could have done some serious damage. My caravel was destroyed. I think that's the one off the Australian coast because it was sort of weak. Yep, it is. I don't know who was there attacking it, but it is gone. Fighters, bombers, there's two nuclear missiles now stationed inside of Shanghai. So they can hit anywhere in my empire. The obvious place would be here. Destroy all my units, but they don't want to do that. Beijing would probably be the second most likely target for any nukes. If you want Zulu, do you really need to denounce me? I've already got my own problems over here. Okay, Japan's moved some of their planes away, which is good news. I don't know where they've put them, because they're not. They had six, now they have three. That's always scary. Okay, it's Vietnam's turn. We're going to lose another unit. We've lost a unit every time. We lose two. We lose the destroyer. I knew we'd lose that. I messed up there. We lost the land ship too because they had another marine. Dang it. Infantry, it's down to you. We need to do this. It's now or never. But I do want to attack. Oh, I wanted to attack him as well and it didn't go to the plan. Um, bomber, bomb him. Come on. Please, get rid of them. Drive them back. This could be our chance. Destroy. Oh, we didn't do it. No. Okay, infantry. Okay, bombers. You've got a big job on. You've got to destroy that rocket artillery. You did it. Excellent. Come on. Okay, there's another infantry here. I don't even know where to put it. Just stick it here because I can't really get anywhere. I'll go in the city. There we go. Proposal. Oh, it's tight. Okay, we need to. Oh, Korea did get embargoed. That sucks. That's all. even more of my trade gone. That's why more of my trade dropped. Vietnam. I'm embargoing you, man. <laughs> you deserve this. <laughs> Enjoy. You're probably already struggling for money, so let's just make sure if we get that passed through in 10 turns time, that will be huge. Vietnam, um, gone. We're down to six unhappiness now. Maybe maybe freedom is growing. No, that's not it. We've lost to just gained it from another source. <laughs> Don't know how, but we're getting desperately low. We're now just using infantry. There's meat shields, and there is a huge Siamese army showing up. But they're not as enhanced as the Vietnamese. Our planes will be fine to bomb these guys, and what we've got left, the infantry, is doing a good job at holding strong. These guys are a lot tougher than I thought. Um, and obviously they're going up against other infantry now, so that'd be interesting. The artillery still kind of sucks. If we get rocket artillery, that'd be great, but obviously we're sort of we're already deep into nuclear fission at the moment. I'm just going to buy like as many as I can, all 12, just going to buy them, hit Vietnam with everything we've got, and just see if that works. I think that might be a more fitting ending than, um, because don't, we're not going to be able to attack Korea anymore. That dream is gone. That boat has sailed, I would say, is the good phrase to use. We now have the 18th biggest military, Vietnam as third now, Siam a sixth and Ethiopia fifth, so the big three in this war, but Vietnam up to third, that is crazy, that is crazy, um, just stay where you are, and let's just use the artillery if we can, yep, I'm gonna push, you. oh I can't push you forward anymore, uh, bombers, just like bomb stuff, <laughs> that is your job, you know what, just take the hit, yep, you just about lived, which is impressive, if we can kill like one unit per turn, I can't complain. Why is there a great engineer in my land? Go get it. There we go. Oh, it died. I, I thought I was going to get it. Um, but never mind, it just died. Oh, oh my goodness. There is tanks. There is Vietnamese tanks. Infantry. Just go stand in their way. They won't do anything to you, I swear. Just stand there. Hold your hand up. And hope that they recreate a famous scene. Just, just do that. Please. <laughs> Please don't kill them. Siam just attacked Brazil. Don't know why Russia has completed its second booster for the spaceship. I think Russia is probably going to win a science victory very soon. Oh, and Brazil is screwed because the Inca has now attacked them. Brazil are pretty small. I think if Argentina were to attack, they could take Rio pretty quickly. Because it's surrounded by Argentina's borders and that would be the end of Brazil anyway. Yeah, I don't think Brazil are like super scary. I just feel like that nuke's coming. Actually, I said Beijing was our second biggest city at some point. Maybe this, maybe the last video or this video, if it was going to be targeted by a nuke. That was a lie. Guangzhou, out here in the west somehow. The city we took from 
China very early on is actually our second biggest city over Karakorum, our capital, and Beijing. But yeah, I mean, this is not good. This is not good. I mean, at least Vietnam's nukes have moved away. We can't see them anymore. Oh, yeah, I can. They're right there. <laughs> they're right there. Oh, there is a second wave of advanced Vietnamese units showing up. And this time they're protected by a wave of super strong Siamese units. This isn't going to go well at all. That's an anti-tank gun. Do you really need an anti-tank gun to stop me? Although their tanks did fall back up there. That's good. Okay, come on. Get rid of that anti-tank gun. Good job. Attack the bazooka for some reason. I don't even know why they have one of those. But attack it anyway. Come on, get rid of that mobile Sam. Oh, you were so close. But you're dead now because you moved too near to the city, which sucks for you. Okay, fall back. Let's push these infantries in. I guess if you get on the road, you might be able to move around. Okay, that was worth it. You didn't die either. That is, that is incredibly lucky. And... Again, that bazooka, that was not the most effective of hits, but you'll have to do Sydney 26 gold per turn. Yep, let's hope that you don't get plundered. We're still making a lot of money, actually. I don't know what really happened. Like, why we're making so much money. That golden age just stimulated something. And, I mean, we're, it's over, but we're still making a ton of money. So, maybe it's just... I think that's just because my army is now tiny. Well, that's why we're making so much money. So, we'll have to rebuild this army. Maybe very soon. I might just buy... A the problem is buying them units is not very effective. Maybe I should be building them. But I'm building wealth. So it's it's all a bit of a mix. We're up to 2006 now. The Great War of Mongolia. The greatest war of Mongolia. I, don't mind, I think we've lost more in this war than any of the other ones so far combined. Which is quite impressive. Um, but yeah, we've taken a big hit to fall down to 18th on military manpower list. We need to... I would say we need to step up, but there's not much more I can do. Like, the Huns are literally just waiting as well to attack me at any point. Like, they have had units just sat on that border for so long. Russia could probably do some heavy damage with their... I don't know if they have an air force, I haven't seen it, but I imagine they do. And obviously Korea and Japan could both just join in at any point too, and that would really start to be bad. Start to be very, very bad. Um... I think our capital's like right in the middle. Normally, like sometimes you have the capital just to the sides and it's always at risk. But in this game, we don't have to worry about that for some bit of luck, I guess. We can call it luck. Call it whatever we want, but... Come on. Ah, oh, yes. That's rocket artillery down. That that was ineffective. I'll bear that in mind. Let's not attack either of those. Let's go after you. You need to fall back. You just made it out alive. That is impressive. Bombardment 3. Oh, you just about didn't die, but you probably should heal. I would recommend healing now. Get yourself on that road. Reinforcements are coming. Come on, we can do this. Next turn, I'm going to try and get a peace deal. We'll see what we have to do to get one. It might be a sucky one, though, which will be game ending, which is kind of concerning. So they're going to keep pushing until it's over. Oh, Russia. Apparently my people, they're surprised they'd keep me as leader. Well, I'm surprised your people keep you as leader. I mean, you let you could have had so much more stuff, and you let Spain come out here. This was incredible. Like, Britain and France were here, then Britain and Russia crushed France, and then Spain crushed Britain. And now you just have Spain and Russia with most of Europe under their control. If these two go at it, it would be crazy. The problem is Spain has got so many puppets, and Russia's got a few as well. That sucks, yep. You guys, you, you're just, you're staring. You're just, just alarming me a little bit. Uh, we destroyed most of the Siamese units, but Vietnam are obviously coming back again. We are now down to two infantries and an artillery, and the bombers are doing most of the work now in terms of saving me. There is two more infantries on their way, though. Bit of a flanking maneuver at the moment. And there we go, an embassy with Japan. Can we? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, one turn. Well, stick around for the next video, guys, because we're going to save ourselves. We're going to destroy all of these units in one foul swoop. Hopefully we still have this 20 population city at that point. But there we go. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. It is time to save. Save us. Come on, game. Come on, let me... Okay, all these bombers need to heal, which is annoying. 
How much are they? They're going to be a lot, aren't they? 1550. This is a risk. This may backfire. But there we go. We bought three. We can use them next turn. See how things go. Research lab. Bombers need to heal. Yeah, I feel this is the end for Besh Bullet here. Our capital. Unless we suicide some infantry into that tank. Which isn't going to be a good idea. Let's see, although infantry can you get over here? Oh, not quite. Okay, get over here. Come on. I don't think we're able to save our capital. Like, we have to sacrifice these planes to do it. Yep, it's not going to work. Dang it, we lost two planes. I wasn't expecting to lose two planes. <laughs> Just there. Uh, rocket tree would be great, but I'm going to need to go for this. What does this do? Oh, that. No, that's not going to help. Okay. Well, that's me for this video. As always, if you have enjoyed, it would be awesome if you could leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.